Hi and welcome to Shorts in Psychology. Today we're going to explore what phobias are and how they are treated using systematic desensitisation. Fear is a normal and healthy part of life. It is a rational response to situations that can pose a threat to our safety. It is not uncommon to feel anxious or fearful when faced with a snake, spider or heights. Under normal circumstances, this fear can be managed through reason and logic, does not take over our lives or cause us to become irrational. A phobia, however, is an extreme or irrational fear of or aversion to something. The phobic stimulus, which can be an object, activity or situation, causes the individual to react by imagining or irrationally exaggerating the danger. Their feelings of panic, fear or terror are completely out of proportion to the actual threat. People with specific phobias are often aware of this, yet their anxious reaction is automatic or uncontrollable. Sometimes the mere thought of the phobic stimulus or the sight of it on TV is enough to cause a reaction. Specific phobias are often associated with panic attacks, during which the person experiences overwhelming physical sensations that may include a pounding heart, choking, nausea, faintness, dizziness, chest pain, hot or cold flushes and perspiration. People with specific phobias often avoid situations where they may have to face the phobic stimulus and find that the anxiety or avoidance associated with such situations makes it difficult to go about daily life. The most commonly used psychological intervention to treat specific phobias is systematic desensitisation. Systematic desensitisation is a type of behavioural therapy based on the principle of classical conditioning. This therapy aims to remove the fear response of a phobia and substitute a relaxation response to the conditional stimulus gradually using counter conditioning. There are three phases to the treatment. First, the client is taught deep muscle relaxation techniques and breathing exercises. For example, control over breathing, muscle detensioning or meditation. This step is very important as it is teaching the individual a new conditioned response, that of relaxation, which is incompatible with the tension associated with their phobic fear response. Hence why systematic desensitisation is based on counter conditioning. The aim is to replace fear with relaxation. Second, the client creates a fear hierarchy, starting at stimuli that create the least anxiety and building up in stages to the most fear-provoking stimuli. For example, a spider phobic might regard thinking about a spider as only modestly threatening, but letting a spider crawl on part of their body as highly threatening. The list is crucial as it provides a structure for the therapy. The goal of the third and final stage in systematic desensitisation is for the individual to learn how to cope with and overcome the fear in each step of the hierarchy by a progressive or graduated exposure. The client reaches a state of deep relaxation and is then asked to imagine or is confronted by the least threatening situation in the anxiety hierarchy. So for a spider phobic, this may be looking at an image of a spider. Once they are comfortable with this, they would move on to the next stage in the hierarchy. If the individual becomes upset, they can return to an earlier stage and regain their relaxed state. The client repeatedly imagines or is confronted by this situation until it fails to evoke any anxiety at all, indicating that the therapy has been successful. This process is repeated while working through all of the situations in the fear hierarchy until they are able to be confronted with their most anxiety provoking stimulus, for example, holding a spider, and still feel calm and relaxed. Let's now apply what we've learned about phobias and systematic desensitization to a past exam question. Pause the video while you have a go at answering this question. In the first part of this question, you have to explain why Jonathan's behaviour is classified as a phobia, so it's not enough to simply define what a phobia is. Jonathan's behaviour is classified as a phobia because it is making it difficult for him to go about his daily life. His fear of snakes is irrational, as despite living in the centre of a big city, he is intensely afraid of being bitten by a snake. It is also leading to avoidance behaviour, Jonathan's fear of being bitten is so intense that he is refusing to go outside. 
For part B, you need two well-made points describing a psychological intervention that could be used to treat Jonathan's phobia. In this video, I will be describing systematic desensitisation, but other interventions such as cognitive behavioural therapy or CBT, which we will examine in more detail later in the course, could also be described. Jonathan would first be taught deep muscle relaxation techniques and breathing exercises that are incompatible with his conditioned fear response. Jonathan would then create a fear hierarchy, starting at stimuli that create the least anxiety, for example, hearing the word snake or seeing a picture of a snake, building up in stages to the most fear provoking, which may be holding a snake. Starting at the bottom of the hierarchy, Jonathan would then be exposed to the least fearful stimuli, practicing his relaxation techniques. Once he feels comfortable with this, he would move on to the next stage in the hierarchy. Jonathan would continue up the hierarchy, replacing fear with relaxation at each stage until he is able to be confronted with his most anxiety provoking stimulus and still feel calm and relaxed. In summary, a phobia is an extreme or irrational fear of or aversion to something that results in feelings of panic and fear completely out of proportion to the actual threat. The distress experienced when exposed to their phobic stimulus can lead to people with specific phobias avoiding situations where they may have to face the phobic stimulus. As a result, the anxiety or avoidance associated with such situations makes it difficult to go about daily life. Systematic desensitisation aims to remove the fear response of a phobia and substitute a relaxation response to the conditional stimulus, gradually using counter-conditioning. There are three phases to the treatment, teaching the client relaxation techniques and breathing exercises, establishing a hierarchy of fear and progressive exposure to the object starting at the bottom of the fear hierarchy. Thanks again for listening and see you next time for Shorts in Psychology.